Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and yes, today we are continuing our Need for Speed Payback Let's Play series. This is episode 5. If you've missed the previous 4 episodes, then I will leave a link in the description to a playlist where you can go and check out all of those episodes and catch up on what you've missed. But basically, we're working our way through the storyline of the Need for Speed Payback game. We've not really covered a whole lot yet, we're still on Chapter 2, which is Desert Winds, and so far I have to say I'm really enjoying this game. Um, the level of detail in this game is quite high. Last episode we checked out the map, and the episode before we did some car customization, and today I want to do a little bit of a catch-up sort of episode, because I've been doing a lot of... Um, exploring off camera and I want to catch up on some of the stuff that I discovered while I was off camera and I want to go ahead and customize another brand new car today. So let's start off with the first bit of catch up and that is what you're seeing in the gameplay right now. I went ahead and customized the Subaru that is our off-road spec vehicle. I've gone for the classic blue and gold theme with the Subaru and I think it looks really nice. I was happy with the build. It performs pretty well as well. So um, yeah, very happy with that. I also competed in some of the off-road races and completed um, all four of the um, League 37, uh, League 73, sorry, off-road sort of challenges. Um, we have now completed all of those. And we also unlocked the Derelict ability. So if you're not familiar with that, if you've never played Need to be Payback, don't worry, I'm going to explain it right now. Um, basically, there are these Derelict parts dotted around the map, and if you collect enough of them, you can restore a car. So the first one that you get is the uh, Nissan Fairlady, an awesome, awesome car, a car that I really, really love. And we actually got to drive this thing in the very first episode, um, but then that car kind of got stolen and taken away from us. Um, but now it's back. So we have a Fairlady of our own, which we are gonna be customizing in a little while. Um, now, I didn't have a chance to pick up the mic and the face cam while I was exploring these derelict parts. So, I'm going to show you a little bit of film footage in a minute of me collecting all of the derelict parts. So, thank God um, PlayStation has sort of a replay option um, to capture some video footage of it for you. Um, but there is going to be no sort of voiceover for it. It's purely just going to be me showcasing how I collected the derelict parts and basically how that works. So I'll let that bit of video footage play for you now. If you don't want to see that, then you can skip to the car customization, which is what we're going to be doing in a minute. And yeah, I'll let it play and I'll see you all when it's finished. I should have a look around. There might be a useful part around here. Is that from a Nissan 240Z? Ha, <laughs> score!
should bring this to Rav. I bet we can rebuild the 240Z now. I heard you found something interesting out there. Want me to have a look? What kind of build you want for this one? The race build? It'll give you plenty of speed and maneuverability for racing on tarmac. With a drift build, you'll have no trouble throwing the back wheels around corners. A drag build is all about raw power in a straight line. Forget cornering, this is all about the quarter mile. The off-road is a setup that'll give you the grip and shocks you need to survive bouncing around the scenery. A runner build is ideal for urban environments. It'll give you maneuverability and a chassis that can take a punch. Okay, so we're back. So that is basically how the derelict uh, car parts worked, what you've just witnessed. Basically, um, I think once you complete all of the races in a series, um, the sort of boss level, he'll say, hey, um, there's these derelict parts available to build X car. Um, go and find them and you can build this car. And the first car was the Fair Lady Z, a pretty cool vehicle. Um, we also unlocked a couple of new cars there as well. That was very brief, but we unlocked the Charger. Um, I think the Fair Lady Z in the shop, and there was another car, the Skyline, I believe. Um, so we've got a few more cars in the um, marketplace as well, which is pretty cool in the dealership. But now I want to go ahead and customize the thing. So we have got a load of parts for this thing um, I did check that out off camera but I haven't changed any of the parts yet so let's just jump into the visual customization we also unlocked another visual customization option by building the derelict car which is the headlights we can now change the headlights which is really really cool um, there's a bunch of options for the headlights there which look really really nice I do like those a lot. Um, so I believe now the only options we have left to go and get are the rear diffuser and also the tires. That is an option that you can unlock. Now at the moment the car's kind of this rusty build. I want to kind of fix it up and make it look nice and sleek and new. So I'm going to go for these headlights. They look really nice. Um, then we'll go to the bonnet so we've got the sort of just a sleek version we've got a vented version of that like with the black vents and then we've got this other vented version I think we're just going to go for the sleek fixed up bonnet I think that looks really nice the front bumper options we've got the stock we can go for like a full facelift look okay that looks pretty cool we've got a bunch of these with like oil coolers so we got that one we got that one we've got an actual nissan um version with an oil cooler um they're all sort of with oil coolers and then we've got the classic sort of fair lady look you can also go for like the plastic bottom if you want to um as this is a kind of a drift build i'm gonna go for a very weak looking drift build with this i don't want to go anything too crazy but i do want to add a few sort of aftermarket parts on there so i feel like the oil cooler that's a pretty cool one i'm gonna go for that that does look really nice um the next option we have is the canards down here which we can't apply because that sort of interferes with the front bumper but honestly i'm fine with that um the front splitter we've got the alchemist we got this one but that's interfered by the front bumper so we can't have that one we've got this nice simple splitter just down there i can't really show you it very easily but that's that that's quite a nice one we've got another one there 
which does actually fit quite nicely with the car and then we've got that one I'm gonna go for this one I think that looks really nice so there we go you can see it a little bit better now um, I do like that it has those little fins up the side that looks really cool uh, the wheels we'll come back to at the end as always I like to build the car up first get it looking right and then pick the wheels I feel like that's the easiest way to build up a car uh, the front fenders we've got the usual one we can go for a repaired look so <laughs> it looks a bit strange the back end's ratty and the front end's clean but yeah you can clean it up um, we've got a version of that with gills we've got that with the carbon accent around the wheel there we've got a wide body version okay getting a little bit crazy we've got this one again with the plastic fender I don't know how that's different to the other one we've got this wide body plastic fender and then we've got the carbon fiber fender um, oh so this is like a blackened one and this is like plastic so this is like black painted and oh no this is carbon fiber oh that's carbon fiber with the gills okay and then this one's just the plastic with the repaired sort of look um, hmm not really sure what kind of build I want to go for I mean well I know the build I want to go for but I don't know what's going to fit it I think this with the plastic fender it's kind of like a um, I feel like that's kind of an aftermarket part the plastic fender I think that looks okay so we'll go for that um, the side skirts we've got these alchemist side skirts which look just really stupid I'm not a fan of those so I'm not gonna bother with them the mirrors we have got some options for the mirrors now as well so we've got these mirrors which are like the classic Nissan Fairlady mirrors we've got those in a polished version we've got the like actual side mirrors and then we've got some more versions of those honestly I'm just fine with the ones it has on it I think they just you know they're fine so we'll leave those on there the rear fender um, we'll just try and match this up to the front I guess so it's basically all of the same options as you get on the front but on the rear but there is these like kits that you can get so this one here changes the whole rear of the car you can see there it changes the appearance of the back of the car as well so if you want to go for that you can but I'm just gonna go for this one just the um, fixed up version with the plastic fender to match the front um, I don't know how we're gonna fix up the doors yet I guess we'll figure that out in a minute um, the tail lights we can now do we unlocked those in the last episode by driving 155 miles um, so we've got the stock headlights we've got these blacked out ones or even more blacked out ones I'm not a fan of blacking out headlights they just look dirty in my opinion so gonna leave that the rear bumper we've got this one we can go for the alchemist which also repairs it um, and it adds that horrible looking bar that just does not suit the car we've got the LB works performance one which kind of makes it look like a skyline for some reason um, not a fan of that uh, we've got this one we've got the classic repaired Nissan one and then we've got that um, LB works performance which changes it up again and adds the wide body but I'm just gonna go for the cleaned up Nissan look there the next option is the diffuser which I explained is still locked um, I haven't come across any drift zones in the sort of free mode part yet so I guess that's something that will become available as we play through the story a bit more but honestly we don't need to do that right now the exhaust we can now change as well so we have this one we have the other Nissan one we have this one we have an upturned pipe one we've got a downwards facing one we've got sort of a uh, 
sticky out one that's how I'm going to describe that and then we've got this nice clean one right there I quite like this one that looks very neat it fits in the sort of cut out very nicely and it looks all hunky dory um, the next option we have is the trunk lid so we've got this one let me just move that up a little bit so we can see what's going on we've got the alchemist there we've got the repair trunk lid we've got that one I don't know how that's different okay I'm not sure how that one's different and then we've got this one which has the sort of inset um, back end that looks a little bit weird that's not really a thing that it kind of wrecks the body lines a little bit because that's the back end is something that I really like on the fair lady and that just wrecks it so I'm just gonna go for the fixed up Nissan one there just the classic look then we got the spoiler we already have the classic fair lady one on there you can go for a massive drag wing if that's something that you want to do this is not a drag build this is a drift build we've got the classic fair lady which is just the repaired version because this is like the dull version right here and this is like the shiny cleaned up version we can go for a massive wing we've got another big wing we've got just a nice um, color coded ducktail like an aftermarket ducktail does actually look pretty nice we've got the AR performance and then we've got the same back end there I'm just going to go for the clean Nissan Fairlady there it has the writing on the 240Z that looks really nice you can change the sound system but haven't seen any need to do that yet and that is sort of all the visual stuff that we can do now I'm wondering how we fix up the roof and the doors because they're still sort of broken I have a feeling it's in the paint and wrap section or not um, we can change up the color of the car which we are going to do every fair lady Z that I have ever had in any racing game ever has always been orange with black flames on the side and black wheels so I am not going to change how I build the Nissan that is the build we're going to go for so I need to find a nice orangey color here something like that is about right and then we can change the material so we can go for chrome but that's going to look stupid we got metallic clear coat matte satin or gloss I'm just going to go for gloss and how do we change the how do we change the size of it ah okay so we're just going to do that it is a bit annoying that they don't just give you an option to clean up the doors that is a little bit stupid in my opinion um, it saves you having to do all this which is a little bit monotonous but I guess that's just how they've done it I do like that you can go for a rusted out look if that's something you want to do okay and we're back I have fixed it now um, basically I just shuffled the, the decal along and then I just put another one at an angle so you can't really tell that I've done that obviously because it just blends into the color of the car um, but it looks considerably better considerably better yeah English just went out the window but yeah it does look really really nice now it does look a bit more like a drift car I'm quite happy with how it is looking right now the last thing we need to just do is change up the rims so let's go ahead and pick out some nice rims there's plenty of options to choose from yeah so I've decided on these I like these these look really nice so I'm gonna get those um, we're just gonna go for the black right there and apply that to all rims we can go ahead and change the size up I mean the size is pretty good right now you can make it a massive tire if you want I think the size is good so we'll leave it at where it's at and the secondary color is also okay 
So I'll just go ahead and match that on the back now and I will see you in a minute. And there we go, the car is all fixed up. There we've got the nice wheels, we've got the orange paint going on. The last thing that we need to just do to this car to make it into the normal car that I use is add the flame decals on the side. So we need to go back into the whole decal options. Um, we need to edit the wrap and I don't know whether I want to have the flames on the side and on the bonnet or just on the side. Um, but let's see if we can find some flames in here. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and view the car. It looks very nice. We've got the flames going up the bonnet. That looks really, really cool. We've got the flames up the side, the orange paint and the black wheels. It looks really, really cool. So the only thing we have left to go and do with this thing is take it outside for a bit of a spin. And oh yes, it sounds absolutely fantastic. I love the noise this thing makes. It's a very classic sports car sound. It has a very definitive engine note. And ooh, it sounds good when it spits flames as well. Ooh. And of course, yeah, we have NOS on this thing. But yeah, this is our sort of drift car. Obviously, we have the Volvo as well, which I'm not planning to get rid of. I'm not replacing the Volvo, but we have a second drift car. This is probably the one I'm going to use more. Um, I do like the Volvo, but the Fair Lady just has a special place in my heart. That is going to do it for today's episode though. We had a look at the whole derelicts thing and how that works. I showed you all the location of the derelicts for the Fair Lady 240Z. So if you've got this game and you've been struggling to find those parts, then hopefully this video is helpful for you. If you've not got Need for Speed and you're considering buying it, then I can definitely recommend it to you. It is a little bit of an older game now, it came out in 2017, but it's still a very, very good game. I've been enjoying playing it so far, and hopefully you've all enjoyed watching it as well. Let me know if you want me to continue this Net Let's Play series, if it's something that you're enjoying watching. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.